Today we're going to talk about finishing pig care. We're going to talk about three main points. The first one being feed, the second one being water, and the third one being environment or airflow in the barn. If we get those three things right, we're going to do a great job at producing profitable, efficient pork. So one of the main points we're going to talk about is feed. So the main thing that we need to do is make sure that we have plenty of feed availability for these pigs. Today these pigs are about 160 to 180 pounds. They are going to eat somewhere between 5 to 7 pounds of feed a day. So that's a tremendous amount of feed that has to go through a feed system and a feeder. So if we look up here, this is where the feed will come in through this auger and then drop down through here into this feeder. This feeder may only have a capacity for about oh, a half an hour worth of feed for, the, for this pen of pigs. So we got to make sure that our equipment is running all the time. Uh, when, feed, when pigs go out of feed, number one, it, it uh, will reduce their growth and it will also cause uh, additional health problems that we don't want to we uh, endure. So that's the main thing that we want to talk about is making sure that we've got really good feed availability at all times. That's the number one thing when it comes to making sure that we can produce good pork. We also want to take a look at grind. Quality is very important as well. We want to make sure that the feed is of a consistent grind, it smells fresh, and it's stored in a dry place. So making sure that we've got plenty of feed, making sure that it's got quality is, is extraordinarily important. These pigs, are use, we're using a wet dry feeder in this facility here. So the feed will go down through the, the feeder and then we have water availability at the bottom where the pigs can make their own gruel feed or mash feed with water. Uh, they really enjoy that. That's a really good way to feed pigs is, is that method. So that's kind of the main things that we want to talk about feed. You know, making sure that we've got availability, making sure that we've got uh, capacity for these pigs and making sure it's well formulated and the feed is fresh at all times. This is a wet dry shell feeder. So what we really want to look, uh, look at here is to make sure that we've got our feeder adjusted properly. Having feeders adjusted properly are really important for making sure that we uh, produce efficient pork. We don't want to waste feed and we don't ever want to have pigs out of feed. So as you can see right here, we've got plenty of feed on the shelf and then we've got a thin layer of feed on the bottom covered with, covered with water. So this is a properly set feeder. Uh, and that's really important, that really drives profitability, that really drives efficiency in pork. So what I want to talk about a little bit here is micron size. Micron size is pretty important. We want to make sure that we've got the feed fine enough for the pigs to, to become efficient. So the finer the feed, the more efficient the pigs will, will utilize it. Um, also, we need to have it be coarse enough that it goes through our feeders and our bins. So there's a kind of a fine line that we want to make there. Um, kind of the, the golden rule of thumb is that we want to make sure that uh, micron size is somewhere between 600 and 800 microns. Uh, this would be a good example of well ground feed. So water availability is a big deal, especially in the summertime when, when it's hot outside that these pigs have enough water to properly grow and to be, and to be healthy. So what, we, what these pigs will probably drink in a day would be somewhere between three to five gallons of water. We also need to make sure that water availability is fast enough for them to drink in a, in a short amount of time. So we want to make sure that our nipples can flow at least one quart a minute. So the last point we want to talk about is ventilation. We want to make sure that we've got enough good quality airflow going to these pigs at all times. And we also want to make sure that we're at the correct temperature for the pigs based on their, based on their body weight. So as, as pigs get bigger, their, their ideal temperature continues to drop. So a, a 13 pound nursery pig can only, you know, their temperature point is about 85 to 86 degrees. As we get into these big 180 pound pigs, we're really looking at uh, closer to 65, 67 degrees is, would be their ideal body temperature. So, or their ideal ambient temperature. Um, you are the biggest sensor in the barn. So if you walk through the barn and you feel that uh, the air quality is good, you've got plenty of airflow, that is the most important thing that, that we need to make sure of. So our, our own senses, our, our smell, our, our humidity, what we feel for humidity in the barn, that's really what we want to make sure that, that we're watching and monitoring is, and we're the best sensor of that as, as a barn care worker. As a pig care worker, what we want to focus on is doing daily chores and doing a good job daily in each pen. 
we want to we want to address the three things every day in our actions, which would be feed, water, and environment, like we talked talked about before. So as we're going through, I want to make sure that we've got enough air. Uh, walking through every part of the pen, we've got enough feed in the feeder. I want to make sure and check every nipple, every water source, to make sure that we're getting the right amount of water. And the next part is I want to make sure, do individual pig care. So I want to make sure that every individual pig is doing well in every pen. So as you're walking through, you want to make sure that you walk through the entire pen. Make sure that you have an, uh, you, you can visually see each pig and make sure that they're doing well. In this pen, I don't see anybody that necessarily needs to be pulled or needs to be treated. Um, but we want to make sure that, that we're doing that job every day.